Hello everyone and welcome to another Thanos video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Soul Trader Semi CMG combo deck in timeless format. So this deck has a lot of combo routes in the deck. If you are familiar with the Semi GMG combo, we used to infinite combo using Cauldron Familiar, Semi GMG, and Wolf Strider in the deck. But with Modern Horizon 3, we have War and Soul Trader, which replaces the Wolf Strider. And what that actually enables is if you can sacrifice a Cauldron Familiar multiple times, you could even play out your hand for that turn. And with the addition of War and Soul Trader, there's actually a different combo routes that could just potentially kill your opponent. If you have War and Soul Trader and Cheddar Fang on the battlefield at the same time, if you sacrifice a creature, Soul Trader is going to make a treasure token. In turn, Cheddar Fang is going to make a creature on the battlefield. So this is an infinite loop that you can do, but you do lose life. But if you have Marionette Apprentice on the battlefield, and you have higher life total, you can kill your opponent. Or if you have LSL core on the battlefield as well, this is an infinite damage that you can do, even if you have lower life total. And at the same time, if you have a Peregrine Tok as well, this will actually generate infinite card draw. So there's a lot of multiple different routes you can take in achieving an infinite damage in this deck, which is why it makes Soul Trader such a powerful card in this deck. And because there's so many different two card combos in this deck, we are playing Collected Company along with Court of Callings. So with that said, I'm gonna be hopping over to some Time of Special 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. Play first. You know, I would normally not keep this hand if I wasn't going first. I'm going first with double rope line attendant. I'm, I think this is actually a keep. Guide of Souls, yeah. Guide of Souls. So I need a white. I need a white, white, white. Another collect a company. I feel like because we have a rope line attendant, it, is it wrong? Might be. Yeah, it might be. The problem is Guide of Souls, right? This thing flies. Well, it can give it flying. Monkey! Hilarious. Okay. Let's see if the collected company pays off here. Wait, they're looking at their graveyard. Oh, that's why. Three cars in the yard for opponent. Hmm. I feel like I should just set up a Samai's Gamgee plus Orkish Bowmaster. And then I collect the company. Yep. I think I'll do that. I don't think Volage can come out here. They still need two more cars in the yard. So there's that lightning bolt. It's kind of insane they attack. Um, I guess we want another copy of a uh, black source. So I could kill this. Might as well just block like this. <laughs> Ragavans. Ragavans. 
Ooh, Soul Trader. Um, I mean, the Falage is coming out here, so... I mean, I, I guess we just attack all. No, because then opponent can just attack with Ragavan first before playing the Falage, so... I, I do actually have to put one back. I, I think I'm gonna hold actually two back here. We have a good chance of winning here. We have a very good chance of winning here. I think I should still play Collect the Company in case I hit a Warren. Then I can deny the life gain. So we got a Warren plus a Marionette. So we're gonna get a, another creature. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're not quite dead. I think I'm just gonna do it now. Samwise Gamgee plus Cauldron Familiar. So they're dead. Nice. I think even if we didn't get the combo, we would've won. Because currently, like, opponent can't gain life if I just play the Warren out. So I can just sacrifice each other. And we just attack all here. Like, even without the Cauldron Familiar, I think we would've won. Like, look, we have so much damage. Because Warren also um, creates artifacts as well. Like, even without the Cauldron Familiar, the Marionette's dealing damage when an artifact gets sacrificed. So, we sacrifice three, that's like three damage. Play the Warren out, right? With the treasure, that's another three damage. So, even without the Cauldron Familiar, I'm pretty sure we would have won. Let's see. Let's have a copy of a Haywire Might for Blood Moon. Um, Boromir does deny Amped Raptor, Solitude, and Fury if they play it. I think I want some Source of Plowshares as well. That's about it. We don't care about Bowmasters. We want Ellis because we do want some life gain in this matchup. Let's go down like a copy of a Familiar, Gilded Goose, and a Semi Scamgee. Yeah, we got a Swords. Which is nice. I don't think we play out the Cauldron Familiar. Do we? I don't think so. Because opponent didn't play a two, uh, one and a card. I, th I think we want to play Swords next turn. Amp the Raptor. Pretty strong card. Hopefully they miss. A flute. A flute. That's fine. Do I even care about this actually? Oh man, I, I just... I shouldn't have shocked this in. Yeah, I shouldn't have chalked it in. That's my bad. I should probably wait for... Uh, now that I've chalked it in, I'm kind of... I, I guess I, I do just kind of have to run this out. If they call Warren... We have Bartolome to sacrifice the cauldron. What? What? Okay. That is a surprise one. That is a surprising one. 
Oh my god. What a draw there. I thought it was gonna be everything but the collected company. Definitely a surprising one. I guess let's uh, play the Warren first. That is such a sick combo, by the way. Sacrifice you to play the Cauldron Familiar. Um, I guess it's the same outcome. Lightning Bolt. I could sacrifice this just so that... We can ramp next turn. I think I should probably do that. So I can play two cars next turn. If I don't draw land. No way. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. That is sweet. That is so sweet. Wow, what a card. What a card, what a card. It looks like opponent doesn't have anything. So I'm gonna play my Chatterfang. So we can create multiple squirrels next turn. Unlicensed Hearse. That is a pesky card. Seems like opponent brought way too many, like... No, my Chatterfang. So annoying. So annoying. So we play the Sylvan Safeguard. And play the Bartolome. I feel like opponent has way too much hatred. Look at their side. Um, should I? Uh, let's sacrifice a forest. Into a lightning bolt. Um, this might not be worth it, but... Whatever. I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. Oh, they also don't get the energy, so that's good. That's really good. And we get a land. Tackle. They gotta upkeep one of them, which means they're not gonna be able to use the unstable amulet. Galvanic Discharge. Are we just... Do, do we just win? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh. 
Let's just protect this. Since the since we just win the game here. And they also don't get energy? That's insane. GG's. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. I should have just attacked. Nice. That is pretty good. I think I'm actually going to bottom the Court of Calling. I, I think Collected Company is much better with hand, hand like this. Because if I keep the Court of Calling and then do this, I don't have enough creatures to Court of Calling with this kind of hand. I think uh, Collected Company is much better. Grab an overgrown tomb. Oh, this is um Omnitel, so we're gonna lose the first game. Unless we can somehow get lucky and the opponent doesn't have the combo on turn three and we combo off before that. Likely not happening. Yeah, likely not happening. We'll see. We might get lucky. Okay, we have a we have a chance. If we hit it off big here, we might just win the game. Also, I think um getting rid of uh that one card was a mistake there. Okay, Soul Trader, Cauldron Familiar. Go. Huh. Interesting. Darn. We were so close to winning. We were so close to winning. If one or more token would be created under your control, those token plus... We were so close to winning here. Yeah, Cauldron Familiar um, would have won me the game here. No! Darn. They have it. They have it. Show and tell. Into an omniscience. Masterminds acquisition. If this is not a draw spell, we still have a chance. Atroxa, okay. Double dig, assemble. Whoa, they play multiple masterminds acquisition. Interesting. Ah, uh, we're probably just dead. So, uh, Juggernaut Peddlers, Archons, Boromir, a Wire Might. Let's go down on a Gilded Goose. I think I think we just cut like these cards. 
Okay, let's try this. Um, we got a Juggernaut Peddler and a Court of Calling. We can Archon into. That is a combo piece. I'll keep that. Let's see... I think we're supposed to take Dark Ritual. So they don't Mastermind's Acquisition into it. But then they have Brainstorm. I'll take the Dark Ritual. I don't want them to just tutor on turn 2, right? So there's a couple things I can do. I can opt to not play the Cauldron Familiar and leave up a Seiju. Um, which makes it so that if I do that next turn, I can Court of Calling for 3, right? Play a land. I'll have X equals 3. Or I guess I can just win. Yeah, I, I can just win here. If they don't have exactly like the perfect combination of cards, I, we can just win here. Flusterstorm? What? That's kind of weird. Flusterstorm? So... Play out the Cauldron Familiar. The problem is they might have a counter spell now that I see a Flusterstorm. Right? What should I do? I guess I can still leave up um, a Baseju by doing this. Wow. They actually play multiple copies of Flusterstorm. I'm kind of confused. Why would they bring this? Yeah, wh why would they bring a Flusterstorm? In this matchup. That's so bizarre. Versus a deck with uh, more than 30 creatures. <laughs> That's so bizarre. They also have a Born Upon a Wind. Which is a problem if they have another copy for Baseju. So I, I could technically win here if I play Collect the Company. I feel like I should because the fact that they played a Born Upon a Wind probably means they have another copy. I'm just going to collect the company and miss and lose the game. Wow, that sucks. They got very lucky. Unfortunate. Get out of here. Ooh, nice. I get one more land that's actually really good.
Oh, it's one of these decks. My opponent's playing Necro Storm or Necro something. What? That cannot be right. Yeah, that's super wrong. Yeah, I don't like that play at all. That is not... That is not a play that I would have made. That is so aggressive what they did. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Lightning bolt? It's kind of annoying. That is kind of annoying. Okay, we just need one land and another bolt. Maybe that's why they kept it. They had a lightning bolt in their hand. I think I'm just going to play another Samwise Gamgee. Sacrifice three food, return target historic card from Graveyard to the hand. I think I'm actually just going to get back. Another um, semi's Gamgee to my hand. Seems good. I mean, opponent has to run out of removal spells some way or another, right? Molten Collapse. They keep drawing removals. I just, what? It's gonna happen someday, right? Like, they're, they're gonna draw land? Land or some like other creatures. So they got rid of a reanimate. Marionette. I think they are dead. Nice. Yeah, I think that Fury play was a little bit hasty. It left them with one car in their hand. Not sure if you want to do that. We'll have some swords and a haywire. Okay, Robland Attendant was actually insane. Maybe two swords. One Gilded Goose, one Cauldron Familiar, one Samai's Gamgee. Boromir seems good. Well, let's cut a Orcish Bowmaster. Bogart Trawler. Let's see how uh, my opponent plays out this uh, scam plan here. They went for a grief. They exiled um, Orcish Bowmaster. That's good for me. I think they have to get rid of a rope line attendant. Uh, probably like a rope line attendant and possibly like one collected company. 
Yep, that is, uh, I think that's the correct thing to do. And we drew another. Okay. Really taking a lot of damage. What's this? What did they get? Maybe like a Thoughtseize? Or the other collected company? I hope we draw a 2-mana card. Raxian Tower. Yeah, I'm hoping it's like a Thoughtseize. Oh, they have another reanimate. That's pretty bad then. Yeah, if they reanimate here, that's really bad for me. Darn. Hmm. I don't suppose there's like a somehow win here. Even if I collect the company for two, I just don't see it. Because I have to block the Grief. It has to be like an Orcish Bowmaster. But I only have one copy of it. This start was really insane. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything. Because Deathrite Shaman is also uh, pinging me for two. Yeah, their start was quite exceptional. Let's have more copies of Swords. Yeah, I think uh, against their deck, you just don't mulligan. Don't mulligan. Just having more cards than an opponent is probably for the better. Wow. Okay. This time it was a thought season instead of a grief. If it was a grief, then I think we would have been in a better spot. I'm just going to assume they don't have a grief then. Ooh, that is nice. Okay, so that's an Orcish Bowmaster. Seems like opponent has a normal hand this time. Maybe I should have actually sided in some Elven Chorus. Yeah. I think that was a mistake. Unfortunately, you can't sacrifice your, um, itself. Little bit of a flood there. I'm surprised they didn't wait. Yeah, I'm surprised opponent didn't wait.
They have two reanimate targets, so I'm just going to save the source to Plowshare. Oh my god. Perfect. Grief. So looks like we won, right? GG's. And that is why we play Collect the Company. The car is just too good in the stack. Nice. I feel like we've been getting kind of mana screwed in the last two games. Because we keep drawing Bogart Trawler and Fraxian Tower. I might have made a mistake. I shouldn't have cracked it. We're just looking for lands. Oasis. Eldrazi. Cool. That is indeed cool. Four mana coming out here, which is kind of scary. More ramping. I think I'm gonna go with Gilded Goose. And then just we just win next turn. Really? Really? I may almost made a mistake. I need I need to grab a force here. If I want to play the Samwise Gamgee. I guess it doesn't matter because they gave me a land. Pretty nice. Okay, Juggernaut Peddlers. I guess instead of an Orcish Foam, actually, do, do they play one ring? Good chance they play one ring, but we don't know. I've also been citing out the rope line attendant, and it might actually be a mistake because it makes Court of Calling bad. I think we can take out Sylvan Safekeeper in, in this matchup. Yeah, let's just cite out Orcish Bowl Masters. So I have a copy of a Haywire Might. Hmm. Interesting. We do have infinite... We do have a lot of infinite squirrels. Which is kind of cool. Tommy. I guess we just kind of win next turn. Interesting. Yeah, if you just curve it out like this, you just kind of win. Like, especially a deck like this, like, 
Think about like this um, Eldrazi deck or the Titan deck. No. Okay. Insane. Got me there. Uh, two, three, four. Ooh, okay. I think we have to Juggernaut. One ring or Devour of Destiny. They already have a land, so they can technically play Devour of Destiny. I think we give them a, the the ring. Take away that card instead. Because it exiles, right? I'm pretty sure it exiles permanent. Yeah. We're trying to keep the cal uh, Cauldron Familiar as safe as possible. Darn, we were so close to winning. We were so close to winning. Bop, bop, bop. So, is there a win here somehow? I can't play out the semis, Gamgee. Hmm. Even if I sacrifice these two, I can get the Chatterfang down, but I can't sacrifice even more. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a win here. Because even if I get the Chatterfang down, I can't create more tokens with the Warren because I, I'd have to sacrifice the Chatterfang. Okay, scary turn from opponent. They get to untap with the uh, 7 mana. Eight mana. Okay, I'm okay with this. Wow. So we get the Samai's Gamji down and play the Marionette so we get a food and then we can keep sacrificing the Cauldron Familiar. Very cool. Okay, so we play five games. We won three and two, losing to a show and tell deck and a Demir Scam deck. I will say the Scam matchup is probably favored because what usually ends up happening is if opponent just plays a bunch of scam cards they reduce their hand size and you just play out your creatures and you should be able to win because i mean they're just playing out a three two creature right like you can play out your own creature and you just block it that's why i, I don't think scam is very good versus a creature deck but yeah i do think this deck is actually pretty decent i really like the the combination with the rope line attendant and court of pulling Unfortunately, we can't really fit in four copies of Roleplay in Attendance just because uh, we're kind of barely managing to squeeze in the combo pieces as well. Like we got only three copies of Cauldron Familiars, four copies of War and Soul Traders, and even like two copies of Chatterfang and Peregrine Tuck. And we have a copy of Bartolome here, right? So we're compromising a lot. Just, I just couldn't fit four copies of Roleplay in Attendance even though this card is amazing in this deck we saw a lot of good things from the matches that we played we saw a game where the war and soul trader winning the game a lot through sacrificing cauldron familiar compared to something like a woe strider for example this one didn't generate mana right 
The fact that the War and Soul Trader generates mana kind of matters a lot, especially if you're like ramping in to collect the company. Or like even during combos, uh, you can squeeze in like one or two creatures with the War and Soul Trader and that'll enable the Samwise Gamgee and getting the food token. Uh, we actually saw that in the last game as well. Uh, we had a Cheddar Fang plus a War and Soul Trader combo giving us infinite treasures. So that was kind of sick. So we saw this combo there and we also saw Cauldron Familiar plus the Samwise Gamgee combo multiple times winning the game. But we haven't seen this combo, a uh, Marionette Apprentice plus an Ellis, plus uh, either one of our sacrifice outlets with an infinite combo here with the Chatterfang plus Warren Soul Trader. I think Peregrine Took is probably like, it's not necessary. It's not. Like sometimes you can draw a card with this. Let's say like you have Warren plus Chatterfang combo, right? If you have this combo, Peregrine Took can potentially draw you in infinite cards. So this combo didn't happen either. So like, as you can see, this deck just has infinite lines. It's actually kind of insane how many different combos there are, which is kind of cool. And lastly, Collected Company versus Court of Calling. I actually prefer the Collected Company when the opponent has way too many removal spells. Court of Calling is nice versus a counter spell, but it's not very good versus a, versus a removal spells because, because this one requires a lot of creatures on the board, right? So I generally don't like Court of Calling and probably you should bring in some Elven Chorus instead, especially against the scam matchup. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.